Hey everybody. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everybody. Welcome back. I'm Dave. And I'm Dave. And uh, here's These are the comics. <laughs> Dave and Dave read comics. Hey, that could be a new title for the segment. Yes. Another comic review coming at you. This one's Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. It's uh, chapter one. Fiona, you can't make comics without staples. Nice. It's her joke. I stole it. Ah. And it's from Image. Uh, so no stranger to quality Image yeah, Comics. Image, they're celebrating their 20th year this year. You know, I'm just going to get right into it. This is, I do believe, the first time we've seriously disagreed in a book. But i got to tell you, the, uh, they've got four or five issues of this out already. It came highly recommended from the gentleman over at Wonder, Wonderland Comics and Taylor. Um, we picked it up. I did not get a chance to read the first one before I picked up the second and fourth. I couldn't find the third. But, you know, I've heard good things from other reviewers, this, that, and the other. Love Brian K. Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Uh, I picked up the first one. It's a double issue, It's and I, I, li I really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, the art was pretty good. I wouldn't say great, but really good. I love the mishmash of it's sci-fi, it's fantasy, it's, it's this, it's that. It's not afraid to go places. It's got a breastfeeding alien right on the cover. An attractive breastfeeding alien at that. Um, and let's break down the, the, the story, I think, for people. Uh, but it, it involves a, uh, a newborn. And, uh, well, it involves a universe far, far away with different planets, uh, different creatures, and apparently a, um, a totalitarian kind of government. And they're then embroiled in civil war between the planet and the moon. Uh, he's a moony, as they call them. She's from the planet. It's a mixed relationship. So they're outlaws. He's got like ram's horns on his head. Right. She's got wings, whatever their races have developed into. Dogs and cats living together. Um, Total chaos. But this chapter one, I loved it. It, start, it starts right off with her giving birth right away. Um, it's... It's kind of funny because the whole book is narrated by the baby. The baby who doesn't even have a name by the end of the book. Yes, and uh, basically these, uh, this couple becomes hunted by the end of the issue. And, um, and, and to be honest, uh, I, didn't, I didn't find a lot that interesting. Uh, it's a cool setup. There's some neat ideas. Uh, just didn't hook on with me. I don't know what to say. I, you know, some of it was neat. I thought... The most interesting character in the in the whole book comes in about three quarters of the way through, or even later, and that's the that's the the hired hired gun to, to track those two down and bring back the baby, um, and his name is the Will. But he's but even then he's got an Egyptian looking stupid cat, that it's ridiculous. But um, and he's the only character with any interest that that moves my needle. I just love some of the different characters. Like you got the prince. They're a race of robots, basically. And, like, we're introduced to him. He's having sex with his partner. It almost looks like they're tube heads or something. But it's like. weird because it's, like, a regular robot body and then I'm sitting the TV for a head. Right. But I just love... I, I love how it all me meshes together. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and the beauty of it is, yeah, it's sci-fi. Yeah, it's fantasy. Yeah, it's a romance story to a certain extent. It's a war movie or movie book story, however you want to say it. Um, but ultimately what it is, it's a story about the human condition. It's, it's Romeo and Juliet, basically, set however many years in the future on whatever planet, if they and without them killing themselves. Well, with a kid. Uh, and Baby Makes Three. Um, but uh, Hatfields and McCoys, maybe, however you want to... See, whatever the analogy you want to use yeah, there. Right. Yeah, the mishmash I found a little jarring, uh, you know, from time... It, again, it just... It's for some people. It's not for me. Um, I love the artwork. I thought the uh, the paper stock is glossy and beautiful. Um, the pictures are glossy and beautiful. Uh, it had some co really cool concepts and like awesome splash. This was right my favorite splash of the entire book. It's just amazing. Uh, Fiona Staples. It's not an artist I really knew much about coming in. Pretty much all I still know about her is. The little bit that was printed, uh, this little article from Brian K. Vaughan in the back. Um, what I do, uh, another thing I really love about the book is that Brian K. Vaughan's just like, you know, 
uh, when, when he went to Image with the idea, he, you know, I'm a name, you're going to sell books with me. What I, I never want to see an advertisement in any issue of the saga. Saga is mine, I'm going to do it my way, no advertising. And you're never going to sell it for more than $2.99 an issue. So it's very affordable for anybody that wants to pick it up. And the thing that's neat about it is, it's uh, with this being a double issue, you literally feel like you're reading a graphic novel because of the lack of ads, and um, and also the just the, the amount of page content, uh, being that it is a double issue. And it, like I said, it's got some potential. I, I like some of the ideas in it. Again, you know, I just uh, I again doesn't do much for me. So you know, give give it a rating, Mr. Comer. I give it a C plus. And see, I, I'm way at the other end of the spectrum here. It's one of the better books I think I've read in months. It's totally at least an A minus for me. Okay. B borderline given a solid A. I just, I, and I get it, it's like I like all the different things it, it does, but I think what gets to me is that in the end, it's still it's a it's a human story. It's the connection of two people trying, just you know, trying to survive together. Like no, no matter how foreign it is, you know, whatever race is, wherever it's at, whatever, you know, he carries a sword, she carries a blaster rifle, mm -hmm. blaster pistol, but whatever it is, it's still just it's a human story, and that's what tag, pull, tugs at the heartstrings. Maybe yours, but not mine. You'll you'll enjoy chapter two a little better.